Welcome to Tech Jotters again. In today's video, I'm showing you how to install the Vinci Resolve on Fedora 39. Um, I use the Vinci Resolve a lot, so when I install Fedora 39, it is really hard to install and run the Vinci Resolve on Fedora 39. So uh, I searched a lot and found a lot of ways, but nothing worked. Finally, I get a way that works perfectly. Uh, I'm going to show you that today, but before doing that, make sure you install the correct GPU driver. In my case, I use Rockham because I have uh, an uh, AMD GPU, so I installed Rockham there. Now, let's start it. First, uh, I'm going to show you how to download the Vinci Resolve. If you go to the Div the Vinci Resolve website, you can see free download now. And from here, download the Linux version. And I'm not using the Studio One. I just use the the, the Vinci Resolve 18.6. So if you click Linux, it'll ask you some questions and you need to register and download. Just fill up the form and download it. That's it. I already downloaded it here. So I'm going to show you here it's downloaded. So let's extract it. It is extracting. So that's great. It's already extracted. Now, the first thing we need to install some of the dependencies before installing the Vinci Resolve. Uh, here is the dependencies we need to install and don't worry i will post these commands to the video description so you can just copy and paste this command so i'm going to install them okay so yeah it's very quick so everything is installed that's perfectly fine Okay, now everything is installed, the uh, dependencies are installed, so I'm going to run this. So just uh, double click here and it'll start. Next, next, as usual, agree with the terms and condition and start installation. Put your password and it's going to install everything. So it's almost done. It's pretty quick. Everything installed correctly. Again, I need to post my password. Now it's done. I can click on the finish. Now the thing is, if I run the Vinci Resolve, it will not start. So I'm not going to start it. Uh, before that, I'm going to the directory is installed it's uh, opt resolve and i'm going to the libs directory from here i'm going to make a directory here disabled libraries so i'm going to disable few libraries okay so first of all this one i will also post these commands to the video description so don't worry uh, i need to move few of them so basically it's leave glib leave geo and leave g module these libraries i need to transfer to the disabled library so what i'm doing here i'm not deleting any library or anything i'm just moving these libraries to the disabled libraries folder that i made before so Everything is done. Great. Now, I'm going to start uh, the Vinci Resolve from here. And it should work perfectly. Okay. You can see it's... Uh, okay, I'm going to... You can force quit this first part and then it started. Okay. So don't uh, get confused with the first one, force uh, quit. 
you need to force quit that. That's the, I think, the banner thing. But now the Vince Resolve is working perfectly. So here I have to mention one uh, link. Actually, he uh, posted to the GitHub uh, repository. So if I search the Vince Resolve Git, I can, okay, from here, this is the uh, Git repository I follow. I tried a lot of things, even I tried to move those libraries before, but finally I find this, this command to install the dependencies, it works perfectly. Before that, I tried everything and nothing worked. So this is the way you can run uh, the Vinci Resolve on your Fedora 39. So hope it will help you for your next project. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It'll help me to grow my channel and have a good day.